If you're looking for a free alternative to Adobe Lightroom or Adobe Photoshop, then this video is gonna give you suggestions for five of the best. One of the downsides of photography is that everything is so expensive, whether it's cameras or lenses or bags or whatever. Nothing is cheap. And if you're looking to make a save in somewhere, then your editing software or your archiving software may well be one area you can cut back. So let's jump into five free pieces of software or apps, which I believe are among the best. And this is purely based on my opinion and my opinion only, and they're in no particular order. Okay, so number one is Pixlr or Pixlr. I don't really know how it's pronounced, but it's a great browser-based alternative to Photoshop. If you need a way of editing photos quickly without installing any software, then this is a great tool to use. And it's one I use fairly frequently if I haven't got my usual laptop with me, or I just have a few quick edits to do that I don't need to boot Photoshop up for. It's quick, it's easy, and it has a lot of the features that Photoshop has as well. Now, obviously with this being 100% browser-based, you need to have an internet connection to use it. However, with plenty of tools and brushes and filters and layers, there are so many benefits to using this software. Or this application what's more if you sign up for the free account that it offers i think that also gets you a load of free cloud storage where you can save your images and i think you can even then link that into google photos if you wish to do so as you can see on screen here it, it is really easy to use you get export options to jpeg or png it's just easy it's simple it's a really familiar interface as well if you've used photoshop and it is my go-to if i'm not gonna either have my correct laptop or not going to use photoshop this is the one I reach for. Next up is Photoscape X. Now, Photoscape X does also offer a paid version, but the free version packs a load of features that will have you covered for most things. This is also something you install on your machine locally, so it's great if you're gonna be working offline. First thing I wanna talk about within Photoscape is the viewer tool, which is essentially a Lightroom style library catalog. Now, I didn't manage to catch it on the record I was doing here, but it's well worth knowing about if you use Lightroom um, for its archive and or cataloging functionality. Within the viewer tool here in Photoscape X, it does have the ability to let you tag and rate images, which is pretty neat. It also has the functionality to batch rename images and also lets you apply a bunch of edits to a batch of photos, saving you a ton of time if you want to make the same tweaks to multiple images. Talking of editing, Photoscape is pretty good all around when it comes to tuning up your in images. There are a lot of editing tools and a lot of sliders you can use, not to mention a library of filters which can be applied to your images. Overall, I think this is a great option if you want free photo editing software that is installed on your machine. And if you're running a Mac, there's also an integration with Apple Photos, which can help you to organize your images further. Next up, we have Photop. Now, Photop has a few great features, not least its name. Like Pixlr, it is a browser-based tool, so it's great if you don't want to have to install bulky software onto your computer. It also has one big advantage over Pixlr, and that is that it's able to handle both read and edit PSD files. So these are Photoshop edit files, not to mention a load of other file types it can handle, such as .xd, .xcf, .sketch, making a great choice for artists and for graphic designers, as well as, of course, as it does for us photographers. Now, if we're going to compare Photop with Pixlr and some of the other tools in this list, then it doesn't offer the free cloud storage that Pixlr offers as and when you sign up. And also, it's fair to say Photop doesn't have quite as many editing features or tools as some of the other software we've included in this video. That said, it is still an absolutely solid option. Um, there are a fair few adverts dotted around the screen as well, part and parcel of it being free. But if you wish to, and if you love Photop, you can sign up for a paid version of the program, and that will get rid of all of the adverts off the screen. Next on the list is GIMP, and GIMP is arguably the most powerful photo editing tool out of all of those featured in this video. And while I don't know for sure, I'm gonna hazard a guess that it's also the oldest. GIMP was first released back in 1998. It was developed at that point for users working on Linux, or is it Linux, operating systems. Since then, it's grown into a formidable tool for users on both Windows and Mac as well. It's completely free, and it is open source. 
One of the many great things about GIMP, in my opinion, is that it looks as high-end in terms of the user interface as its counterpart and packs nearly all of the same functionality that Photoshop and Lightroom do as far as editing images is concerned. You'll need to do your archiving and your file management outside of this program if you're looking to do that, as that's one thing GIMP doesn't do, but it is just a great bit of editing software. And as you can see on screen here, it does absolutely all sorts if you want to play around with it and make your photos look absolutely fantastic or utterly hideous as I'm doing here. Final one on this list is raw therapy. If you're after a solid free alternative to Photoshop and Lightroom when it comes to editing raw files, then raw therapy could be the solution for you. As the name suggests, it boasts a powerful set of tools which allow you to develop your raw files without the need for high-end software. Now, as you can see on screen, it takes a little bit of getting used to in terms of the interface, but it is pretty cool, it is very in-depth, and it has a pretty familiar feel with it, actually, once you get into it and know where everything is. It does kind of have the Photoshop feel of it. So if you're on this video looking for something to edit your raw files with for free, Raw Therapy is the one to take away with you.